much time making those elaborate games and worlds for us. Yeah. Yeah. Enough that she lost her grip on reality. So, where do you think we should start looking? I don't know. Where in this mess would she stash someone else's personal thoughts? Hmm. So she was standing here, spying through the window, drawing us while we played. She always had her eye on us. My entire body just shivered. Ugh. Sewing lessons were the absolute worst. She made all our clothes. I'm sure she needed the help. And I, for one, am happy I can fix a torn seam. I just can't get through. Whatever's going on, they won't let me in. Ugh. They used to tell me everything, but they shut me out, Tessa. They've shut me out. I've had so much on my plate lately, and... And... They're convinced I'm the enemy, and I don't know why! I need them. I need my goblins. I remember now. We heard her crying. We listened through the door. Seeing her like this... As if she's still here. It's... It really sucks. She was really coming apart those last few months, wasn't she? She always had to have a picture of us close by. Why this picture, though? I mean, do you see the expression on our faces? Oh, this explains a lot. They're mostly full. She was too stubborn to take medication. It's here. I knew it. I fucking knew it. Do you think she read it? Of course. She was nosy as hell. Tyler. What? Look. What? Where did you find that? It was on her desk with her papers. Seriously? Are you fucking kidding me? Look, we gotta be really careful not to overthink this. It doesn't make any sense. She, she was mad, right? She was mad at I, I cut my hair. She attacked me because I cut my hair. She was mad and she attacked you. We both saw it. Then what is this shit? I don't know. I don't know. Tyler, come here. She can't do this to me. Not now, when I've finally made sense of a few things. Well, that was your first mistake. Thinking the world made any kind of sense. <laughs> T 
ten years in the grave, and she's still finding new ways to piss us off. Yeah. I think I need some air. Are you really, really sure? I am. Do it. Okay. Uh, here we go. <laughs> Whoa. Is it all gone? Yeah. It, it looks amazing. <laughs> really? Yeah. <laughs> I can't wait to show mom. She's been so sad lately. More than sad. She's been scary. Yeah, but not tonight though. It was almost like a party. <gasps> Thank you, Allison. You don't have to thank me. You're my sister. I feel more like, like your brother. Brother, sister, we look out for each other. But I'm pretty sure I just gave you a really bad haircut. <laughs> <laughs> Glad we found your diary. Me too. I guess she was trying to figure out where you were at. Yeah, well, she should have asked. I wasn't some goddamn research project, I was her child. About the book. Raising your transgender child? Do you even know how rare these books were in 2005? Was she trying to figure out how to support me? Maybe. Which, she wasn't trying. She never... <sighs> it doesn't make sense, I know. You cutting your hair was what set her off, right? Allison, she read my diary. She already knew. It wasn't my hair. And if we were wrong about that, fuck. 
You think she read it. It's possible she never even opened the diary and that things are exactly like we always thought they were. But if she did and they aren't... God, Tyler. Sure. I mean, we could have been wrong. But what good does it do to ask the question now? You mean other than not having to live with the thought that my mom tried to kill me for being me? Tyler, I know you want there to be something to find. Something that'll make it all make sense. But she was unhinged. So that's it then. She was crazy. Nothing else to say. I think we'd be better off if we tried to move on. Why don't we talk to a few people who knew her? See if that book makes any sense to them. People don't want to talk about Marianne. They pretend like that night never happened. What about Tessa? She was Marianne's closest friend. Let's ask her about it. Sure. But I'll warn you, she's particularly touchy about this subject. Well, maybe she'll talk to me. I was always her favorite. Operative word was. But we need to go by the store anyway, to get a few things for the repairs. Great. Two seagulls, one stale hunk of bread. I'm not sure I like that analogy. Listen, I know you don't want to keep talking about this, but you're obviously not going to be satisfied until we do. So let's talk. You've been on edge all day. Is there something more going on with you? It's nothing. Pretty sure it's not nothing. And I'd like us to be on the same page. I thought we were on the same page. Sell this place as quick as possible and move on. Look. I've already explained why this is so important to me. Why are you still dragging your feet? It's just, with the way you avoided this place for the last three years, I thought you wouldn't want to spend any extra time here. Oh. So that's what this is about. Maybe a little. Yeah. It's just... You graduated three years ago. And this is the first time we've seen each other in person. It's not that I didn't want to see you. I just wasn't ready to be Tyler in Delos Crossing. I tried to visit you. I tried to go to your fireweed graduation. I wanted to bake you a crappy boxed cake and take awkwardly posed photos. I know. But you shut me out. All I got was non-responses and half-assed evasions. Look. I didn't want to see anyone. I just started testosterone. And, oh god. I had the worst acne. My emotions were all over the place and the smells. Allison, the smells... Men smell bad. I know. I've dated a few. Look, I needed some time to figure my shit out before I asked anyone else to try. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah, it does. So, I was thinking... Hmm? Do we need to be in such a rush to sell this place? We've been over this, and we both agreed it's time for a clean break. I know. Trust me. I'm not talking about staying for long. Just long enough to get some answers. And you think this house has those answers? Maybe not, but it's a place to start. <sighs> well... It would be a shame if there was something to find and... We tossed it out. How about... We start digging without putting off the sale. And if it seems like we need more time, we'll talk about it then. Okay. So, we have a plan? Yep. We ask around about Marianne, but we also stick to our repair schedule. If that's really what you need. All right. Deal. Ollie's Diary. It's been a long time since I heard that name. Was I the only one who ever called you that? Actually, no. I used it at Fireweed for a while, until I settled on Tyler. Most people were pretty chill about the switch. Not everyone, though. What do you mean? I had a mentee who refused to call me Tyler. He didn't want my help. He didn't want anyone's help. I'm sorry. I like the name Tyler, by the way. Thanks.
Not a bad view, right? I forgot how beautiful it is. Remember that time we tried to cross the lake after it froze over? Oh yeah, how can I forget? Marianne lectured us for an hour. Well, she wasn't wrong, at least. It was really dangerous. If we'd fallen in, no more goblins. We grew up on this lake. We know how to spot thin ice. If you squint, you could almost forget Tello's crossing's only a few miles away. I'm sure Marianne tried to. Can't blame her. We're headed there for supplies later. Are you ready for that? Yeah, but I was really enjoying a day without assholes. Just a little longer, and every day will be asshole free. That might be asking a lot. <sighs> All right, I think that's enough time enjoying the view. I wasn't gonna say anything, but... Yeah, yeah, I know. I was the one all eager to go, and then I started waxing poetic about the landscape. Go ahead. I'll catch up. Need to respond to a message. Uh huh. My sister, the social butterfly. Seems we got a trespasser. Uh, what the fuck? You got five seconds to talk me into defending my property. Your property? Five. Four. I'm Tyler. Don't know any Tylers. Three. Two. Sam! Ellie? What are you doing out here, girl? This is our house. Was I talking to you? Sam, put the gun down. This is Tyler. My brother. Are you... Brother? Oh, shit. Huh. I guess I heard about all that, but I never... <laughs> Damn, <laughs> you look like a real man. So do you, Sam. You know what I mean. I just didn't know they could make a woman look so much like a man. <sighs> Not a woman who looks like a man, Sam. A man. A real man, just like you. Oh, shit. <laughs> Guess I'm the asshole again. <laughs> you gotta excuse us, old guys. I really don't. Oh, come on. You kids keep changing the rules. You can't expect us to keep up. Just respect the people are who they say they are. It's not hard. No, it ain't hard, but it just takes some getting used to. We'll get used to it. Because we aren't going anywhere. So, what are you doing here exactly? Oh, well, I, uh, I've been kind of keeping an eye on this place for you, you know? It's like patching the roof, checking pipes, and all that stuff. Thank you, Sam. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's, uh, that's no big deal. I just, you know, your mama, she was, uh, she was a special lady. She deserved much better than, you know, uh, what you got? Didn't you used to help Marianne with repairs and building projects? Oh, yeah. Yeah, seeing as your mama never had a man around, I just you know, took it on myself to help her keep this place standing. How antiquated of you. Thanks. I uh, guess you two are still aiming to sell the place? That's the plan, which... By the way, we need your keys. Since apparently you went and changed the locks? Oh yeah, absolutely. But, uh, selling your mother's house? Are you sure? Bad or good? It's all you've got left of her. Not all. I'm sure the gun she tried to kill us with is still somewhere in there. Tyler! What? What Tyler means is, a fresh start is what we both need. Of course. Uh, this place has got to be full of all kinds of bad memories. 
But maybe some good ones too? How well did you know her? Not as well as I thought. When I heard what happened that night, well, I figured people were bullshitting me. It really surprised you, didn't it? Much as anything ever has. Other folks say they saw it coming. Not me. Everything okay with you two? Yes. No. Oh. All right. How well did you know her? Not as well as I thought. When I heard what happened that night, well, I figured people were bullshitting me. It really surprised you, didn't it? Much as anything ever has. Other folks say they saw it coming. <sighs> Not me. Did you help with her door? Her door? The puzzle on her bedroom door. Oh. Oh, yeah. yeah. You two kept sneaking in, giving her no privacy, huh? You ever solve it? Nah. We're all done with fairy tales. No. After what you two been through, it makes sense. We should get going. That's all you think we'll get out of him? Hmm. I guess I could ask him a few more questions. Okay. We should get going. That's all you think we'll get out of him? Too wasted to be of any more help. I'll tell him to get a move on then. Well, we've got a supply run to make, and Uncle Eddie's expecting a visit, so. All right. Yeah, of course. Uh, get going, you two. Um, Sam, we all got to get going. Oh, uh, of course. Of course, yeah, I got lots to do myself. I. Lots of to-dos on old Sam's list. And you don't want to keep Brown waiting, you know? <laughs> Thanks for looking out for this place. Happy to do it. I... Uh, don't hesitate to reach out if you need anything. Anything at all. You hear? Sam? Huh? Uh, Sam? Huh? The keys? Oh, yeah. Of course. Of course. Yeah, they're, they're yours. I, uh... uh mm. This place... It meant a lot to your mother. It almost felt like... It was a part of her, and... And it's like some part of her is alive here still. Hopefully the house doesn't turn out to be a murderous psycho that tries to kill us in our sleep, huh? Uh... Yeah. Well, uh, take care of yourself, uh, both of you. Hey, 
Hey, so we really do have a lot to do. Okay, go on. I'll be right behind you. Ready to Veni Vidi Vecchi? I'm ready to talk to Tessa. Just try to keep in mind that your memory of her is ten years out of date. Yeah, well, it wouldn't be if she reached out to me while I was in Fireweed, which she didn't. So I'm guessing this is Michael? Hey, you. Hey, isn't it your day off? Yep, we're here as patrons. Tyler, meet Michael. This is the annoying coworker I was telling you about. <sighs> I was there for your introduction to marshmallow vodka and wine coolers, and I've only worked my way up to annoying coworker. Rude. <laughs> Don't worry, she told me exactly how miserable she'd be in this town without you. It's so good to finally meet you. The Tyler talk goes on 24 seven, so I feel like I already know you. So, uh, you here to grab some stuff for the homestead, or...? Yeah, we decided it'd be easiest if we just stayed out there. We'll get it cleaned up faster if we literally cannot escape it. Hey, I'm all for efficiency. Cannot wait for us to get out of here. <sighs> What's that? Um, Michael is moving to Juno, too. We were thinking of being roommates. Oh. Okay. Thinking about it? You better not be backing out on me. The only thing that gets me up some mornings is marking one more day off the calendar. <laughs> Don't worry, she won't. We'll get the house sold, and you guys can move on. There could be room for you, too. <laughs> for sure. The more Ronins, the merrier. I'm studying to be a chef, so, uh, you know it'll be good eating. And hey, I only snore during allergy season. And baseball. <laughs> How can I say no to that? <laughs> <sighs> Are you okay? Dead on my feet, girl. Got up at four to fish before work. It's been a day. Oh, you like to fish? Yeah, there's this spot called Buzzard Hole I go to at least twice a week. It's like an hour drive, but it's so chill, especially first thing in the morning. Shut up, I used to go there all the time. For real? Yeah. Hey, well, if you want to go sometime, holler at me. I don't mind sharing. Cool, most guys I know get all Smeagol about their fishing spots. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at you two, bonding over the most slow and boring way to kill an animal. She's just jealous because she couldn't catch a fish. Even if she filled the lake with cyanide I'm first. Not... Ugh, never mind. Tyler, we better get started with our shopping. Yeah, I'll be around if you need anything. I want to have the crispy tocino and noodles and spring rolls. And can we get the coconut cake for dessert? Easy, easy, my hungry goblins. We have to leave some food for the other customers. But Auntie Tessa said we can have whatever we want. Man, I miss Tessa's cooking. She still make those, what are they called? Fried banana rolls? Tehran? Right. 
Mm, no, I'm pretty sure she made them special for us. Well, hello, Miss Ronan. Did you forget something in the office? No, just doing some shopping. You remember my brother, Tyler? Your brother? Oh, right, Tyler. What a pleasant surprise. Didn't Allison tell you I'd be by today? Yes, I think she did. I just didn't expect to see such a dapper young man. <laughs> well, I did shower this morning. <laughs> did you just get back into town, or...? More or less, we've been working out at the old house. But, surprise, surprise, after ten years of sitting empty, it was missing a few things, hence the supply run. Ah, right. Well, we'll get you set right up. It must be nice to be home. Uh, I'm not sure nice is the word for it. Oh, of course. I assume being there feels complicated. That's one way to describe it. Well, don't let me keep you any longer. I'll be here if you need anything. Oh, hey, is Tessa around today? Um, the wife's not in at the moment. I'm sure she'll be around later, though. Okay, so we need candles and an all-purpose cleaner. Plus snacks and drinks. I'm starving. Athletic, graceful, and spirited. Sounds like you. Sorry, I might be movie star handsome, but I can't act for shit. Tyler, you want water, soda, juice? Whatever you want. I'm not OJ sound good to you? Yep. Any opinion on cleaning products? Only that using them is an unfortunate way to spend an afternoon. Mm, organic's better. You're planning to be a ranger, right? Yep, that's the plan. I'll probably start by cleaning honey buckets, but one day I'll make it to Denali. <laughs> you say Denali like the whole thing. Hey Tyler, remember the Trout King? No way, it's still here. I thought Tom would have retired him by now. Are you kidding? He never misses a chance to tell customers he won a trout derby. It was a 12-pounder! Hey, Tom, when'd you get that new California plate? Remember that nice young couple who came from town last summer? With the funky band. They sent you their license plate? Their van got impounded. Then I pulled some strings to get it out. So, by pulled strings, you mean you gave Eddie a discount on those new waiters? I've got friends in high places. You think you could take a picture of this? Look, all the good fishing spots are marked. Later. We've got some shopping to do. So, what are you thinking snack-wise? Are you a candy girl or a chips girl? Oh man, I haven't had a candy bar in forever. Candy was currency at Fireweed, like ramen in state prison. Well, you won't need to trade any shifts for these. Let's see, fresh cut peonies, triple layer chocolate chip cake, mm, plain candles are fine. Okay. I think we're done here. Tom will ring us up at the counter. Allison, I'm waiting. Let's pay for the groceries. Will that be all? Yes. Thank you, Tom. 
Oh, hi, Tessa. We were just meaning to come talk to you. Hi, Tessa. Long time no see. My god, you look like a completely different person. It's me. Plus beard. Yes. So we were out at the old house today. Heavens, why would you go there? Surprised it's even still standing. We found some stuff in Mary Ann's room that took us by surprise. Oh, really? We want to ask you some questions about her. You're the only person who might have known Mary Ann better than us. I, I don't know about that. It's been a decade, kids. I know, but I need to ask. What is it? Did she ever talk about me being a boy? No. It never came up. I found out much later, just like everybody else. Marianne was obviously concerned. She really didn't confide in you at all? Your mother was intensely private. She didn't need anyone else, and she made that clear. But this was about Tyler. She was always willing to ask for help when it came to us. Not at the end. Look, I have a lot on my plate today. I'm sorry. My advice to you would be to try to move on. It's not that easy. <sighs> what happened that night? You can't understand something like that, but it was God's plan. That's all we can know. I need to go now. Best of luck to you, truly. What the hell was that? I told you she wouldn't talk. It's like she's got CIA training. Something's weird here. It's weird, right? Yeah, I feel it too. It's like something's on the tip of my tongue. Can you believe Tessa and Tom were ever young? I heard that. I may have a little less going on in the hair department, but you should see the rest of Delos High, class of 81. Fair enough. Can I help you, Allison? Oh, uh, no, no thanks. I'm good. I'm just looking for something that I forgot. Man, Tessa keeps track of everything in these notebooks. Like what? Any loans she's given out, stuff she lets regulars take for free, even her tithes. And then what? She starts passing out horse heads if people don't pay her back. Uh, I think she just likes having a record. She's gonna hand it off to St. Paul like a resume. What's this doing here? Tessa keeps track of everything in these notebooks. Like what? Any loans she's given out, stuff she lets regulars take for free, even her tithes. And then what? She starts passing out horse. Is there something I can do for you? So what are you doing there? Oh, just inventory. Guess I'm lucky I had the day off, huh? <laughs> yes, what a lucky coincidence. No, just picking up some things for the house. Oh, okay. Does your brother need any, um, shaving products? We've got some on sale. I think he's got everything, but, uh, thanks. Good, good. Well, you let me know if we're running low on anything you need. No, never mind. Guys, you all done yet? Yeah, Mom. Can we go outside while you and Tessa play cards? I'm afraid there's no time for games today, sweetie. Now let's go. Marianne, can you come here? Sorry, Tessa, I'm in a bit of a hurry. Oh, what's your excuse this time? Emergency repairs for the beaver dam? Tessa, look. No, I don't want to hear it. I want to talk to you now. Or do I need to start calling in your debts? 
I'd completely forgotten about that. I remember it, but not exactly like that. Here, let's see if we can call up my version, okay? Uh, Mom? Can we go outside while you and Tessa play cards? No, there's no time for games today. Marianne? Can we talk? No, we can't. Just leave the groceries, kids. Let's go. Don't. Please, let's just talk for a few minutes. Okay? Okay. We remember that slightly differently. I guess that makes sense. Rashomon, you know? But whatever happened, after that they walked to the counter, and then Marianne lashed out at Tessa, right? Uh, no. Marianne defended us because Tessa got all preachy. Which is it going to be? I want to talk to you now. Or do I need... Please, let's just to start calling in your debts. No, Tessa was. Would you just tell me you Thompson on her? Minutes. Okay? You hearing this? Marianne was looking for a fight. I want to talk to you now, or do I need to start calling in your debts? The Lord disciplines those he loves. You're failing these kids, Marianne. Judge me all you want, but don't spew that hate around my children. Spew hate? I am trying to be your friend. They need a firm, <laughs> guiding hand, and you... My God. You actually think you're being a friend right now? Talking about my children that way? Yes, you might find this hard to believe, but friends aren't just for loans, Marianne. You really want to get into this? Fine. Let's go to your office. I'll be right back, kids. You stay inside, okay? What is wrong with you? I wish you would have trusted me on this. I really don't think Tessa was being that harsh. You don't know her. And regardless of who started things, once they were in the office, they both went at it. What do you think they were arguing about? Me? Don't know. It was impossible to hear over the music. But hey, now that we know she was lying to our faces, let's ask her. Is there something I can do for you? Earlier you said Marianne kept everything to herself. But you two had a big fight a few months before her death, didn't you? We argued all the time. You'll have to be more specific. This wasn't about who cheated at Canasta. This was intense. You locked yourselves in the office so we couldn't hear. <sighs> I'm sorry. It was a long time ago. Now, I was in the middle of something. Okay. We'll leave you to it. Damn it. I think she knows more than she's letting on. <sighs> uh, duh. But there's no way to nail her down when we don't even know what we mean. If we could pinpoint what it was about, she'd be out of excuses. Sure, but how do we do that? The music was too loud to make out what they were saying. Mm. Marianne and Tessa were obsessed with that song. It was on all the time. What are you thinking? We've been getting these visions whenever we see or hear something really emotional. Maybe listening to it will trigger something. Hmm. You may be onto something here, Ronan. We can't go back to her with anything half-assed. We should go talk to Tom. Make sure we build as strong of a case as possible. Okay. Let's see if we can figure out what song it was.
We should go talk to Tom, right? See if he remembers the song. Hey, Tom. There's something I can help you with? How's business? Oh, a little light on customers, but that's given us time to finish up the inventory. I think we might close early. Maybe catch the final of Survival on Ice live. Don't tell Tessa, but I'm rooting for Butch. She thinks he's too cutthroat. I say that's the game. You tried that new chocolate bar we got in last week? Oh, no. Not yet. I didn't think I'd like it. Habanero and chocolate. But it's not bad. What'll they think up next, huh? This might be a weird question, but... Do you remember the song that Tessa and Marianne used to love? They played it all the time? <laughs> How could I forget? Uh, I think she's still got the CD back here. A little worse for the wear, of course. Uh, hold on... Uh, here it is. I was happy when it got put away, to be honest. A bit cheesy for my tastes. This is it, right? I think so. <laughs> Whoa, I just got hit with a flood of memories. You seen what I'm seeing? Yeah. Should we check this one out? You're seeing what I'm seeing, right? Oh yeah? Tessa, come join me. I know you love this song. No, I couldn't possibly. Some of us are actually trying to get work done here. I forgot how carefree she could be. Yeah. What the hell happened? You think there's more memories lurking around? I don't know. Let's see. Kids keep pestering me for these candies. They're so expensive. I'll just grab a bag. It's fine. Oh, no. I, I can't, Tessa. It's nothing. Okay. But write it down in your little notebook. Okay, okay. Whatever you want. There. Happy? Yes. And I'll be by on Wednesday to help you close. Like I promised. Tessa acted like she was Marianne's mom sometimes. I think you mean Tessa was self-righteous and treated Marianne like a charity case. She was trying to help. We should go find that notebook she was holding. Pretty sure I saw one marked 2004 in the office closet earlier. What are you doing here? Uh, I thought you needed help with the storm. I needed help two hours ago. Have you been drinking? What? No, I just had a day, okay? I took a pill. I'm fine. There he is. I said I'm fine! Kids, come on, let's go. Wait, please. I have something for you. Take a look at this when you get home, okay? They can handle this confusion. I've been working with these people for years. They can help. What do you think that pamphlet was Tessa gave to Mary Ann? I don't know. I saw it in Mary Ann's room. It had a creepy vibe, but I didn't think much about it. It was bad, though. Like, maybe conversion therapy bad. I'm sorry. Whoa. If the 
this is true, I want to know how Marianne felt about it. And we need to hit Tessa with some hard proof. We should see if we can find that notebook she was holding. Yeah. I think they're all piled. Uh, Tessa? Is it okay if I run a quick Google search? My phone's dead. Sure, but make it quick. I'm going to need the computer. Virtue Seekers Youth Camp. Wait, what? Is that what she recommended for Tyler? I don't know what to say. I'm sorry, Tyler. Yeah. Let's see how Tessa explains this one away. Can I help you, Allison? Oh, uh, no, no thanks. I'm good. I'm just looking for something that I forgot. 2004. Anything interesting? <sighs> Someone got paid to write this. No show. It looks like Marianne started flaking on her debt in October 2004. Five months before that night. I think we've seen enough. Yeah, we've got a good sense of what went down. Let's talk to Tessa. Is there something I can do for you? We're back, with details that should help your memory. Oh, really? Yes, really. We were buying groceries, and then you, you stormed in, threatening to call in debts and demanding that Marianne talk to you. It turned into an argument. So you guys went into the office and blasted that song you used to dance to all the time. Call in debts? I never, like I'm some kind of loan shark. When did this supposedly occur? Well, our memories don't exactly have timestamps. I can't be expected to take these accusations seriously if you can't even recall basic details. April 2004. Isn't that when she stopped trying to pay off her debts? Mm -mm, no, that doesn't sound right. I'm sure we never fought about money, though. I was always forgiving with your mother. I could see how she was struggling. Yeah, and you loved lording it over her, didn't you? Allison. Excuse me? Young lady, I help others because it's the right thing to do. You all would have starved if it weren't for me. And we're grateful for that. It's just an emotional subject for us, right, Allison? Yeah. I never said you two were arguing about money. You said she was failing us and called her a bad parent. Was she done being judged by you? Was that it? I really have no idea what you're talking about, and I was never cruel to Marianne. I did everything I could to help her, to help you all. Even when she fought me, even when she screamed and spit in my face for the effort, even when she, even when she didn't deserve it. What the hell is that supposed to mean? Calm down. Look, we know you took care of us, and we're grateful, but I really need you to answer one question. When you two fought, was it ever about me? It was always about a lot of things. She was struggling with everything at the end. Did you try to convince Marianne to send Tyler to some kind of program? No, and I think you should go now. Tessa, 
I'm here to figure out if Marianne tried to kill me because of who I am. Do you get that? I do. I just... Then why won't you give us a straight answer? I... I truly don't know what went on in her mind that day. And it will always be my deepest regret that I didn't see it coming. Now I understand that this is an emotional topic for you both, and fortunately for you, I keep forgiveness at the heart of my relationships. You're so fucking righteous. Why did you dump Marianne when she was at her worst? I will not be dragged back into this. You need to go. Now. Can we have our groceries? Ah, uh, um, Michael already put them in your trunk. Cool. Bye, Tom. What are you thinking? Just trying to wrap my brain around all that. You know, we might have actually gotten to the truth if you hadn't lashed out at her. Are you serious right now? You were on her case the whole time. Don't turn this on me! It's obvious she's guilty of something and that's why she doesn't want to talk about it! Ugh, that sanctimonious bitch! Done now? You get all that out of your system? <sighs> Sorry, I got so worked up. It just makes me crazy that she would play dumb like that. She knows how important this is to us. To you. Yeah, but you know, you're onto something with the guilt. She didn't want to admit what they thought about, which makes me think it was me. You spooked her with that talk about the program. I think Marianne really was trying to figure out how to support me before whatever the hell happened that pushed her over the edge. You may be right. Yeah. She stood up for me, Allison. She was still crazy Marianne, but... She saw me. I feel lighter. Like I've been carrying something around for the last 10 years and... Now it's gone. I... I'm really happy for you. But... That just opens a whole new box of Pandora's, doesn't it? Yeah, a whole damn shipping crate full. Well, it's a good thing Eddie's expecting us. He knew Marianne pretty well, and he was in charge of her case. Did he ever mention anything about the investigation to you? No, I never asked. And I'm sure he thought I was better off not knowing. Guess that might have made for some awkward dinner conversation. Exactly. But I mean, he's a good cop. Thorough. I'm sure he's got something. Let's go. This is kind of bleak. It's usually more crowded, but the other officers punch out at six o'clock sharp. <laughs> There's no crime after six? In the mean streets of Delos Crossing? Just bears and drunken disorderlies. And Uncle Eddie can usually handle them on his own. But what about drunk bears? <laughs> anyway, he's probably in his office, upstairs. Still got this creepy mascot, huh? What? Officer Justin Beaver is not creepy. He's Delos Crossing's longest serving officer. Hold on. I want to catch up on all the Delos Crossing gossip. Oh, that's all just public safety stuff. Nothing that interesting. Too little, too late.
Home sweet home. Hmm. You spent a lot of time here growing up? Yeah, whenever Eddie was working. The whole precinct's basically family. Hmm. Oh, Gregs. Just leaving this out on display again. Gregs? Like Officer Gregs? The one who was with us that night? Yeah, he's still here. He became a bit of a local celebrity after nabbing a murderer from Juno. The guy was hiding out on a fishing boat and got really, really sick after eating out of the chum bucket. So it was actually a pretty easy takedown. Yeah. Huh. Looks like she forgot her locker key here. She's gonna give me so much crap for forgetting her birthday. I can't believe they're still sending psychiatric patients to prison. Huh. Looks like she forgot her locker key here. We can't make these poor kids sleep here. Well, where do you suggest they go? Social services will be here in a few hours, and this is the only room with a bed. Anywhere but a cell. We'll find some other place. Here we go again. God, not here too. I'm not ready. Me neither. Shit. Stop touching everything, Butterfingers. Sorry. Huh. Is that like an old-timey police scanner? Yeah. So cool, right? It had been gathering dust in a closet for years. Eddie put it out on display last year. <laughs> Nerd. The Delos Crossing Raiders. They got a basketball team now? Yep. A few cops from this station and some firefighters from the next town over. How good are they? Mmm... Eddie's within earshot, right? I think so. Then they're great! Huh. Why do they look so familiar? Something's in the way. <laughs> Man, they are never gonna catch this guy. What exactly did he do? It's not worth explaining. <sighs> what do you know? Still locked. Damn it. It's locked. Well, what did you expect, dum dum? It's a police. Mm. Eddie must have locked it already. Tyler, you coming? I'm guessing this is where they stash all the guns and stuff. Yep. But I don't need to tell you that it's off limits. Don't worry. I won't try to get in. I'm not big on firearms. 
You think we could find some files about Marianne in the archives? Uh, I don't think so. <laughs> Never mind. I'll ask Chief Brown later. Allison, hey. Just finishing up a call. Trying to convince Melinda the Ravens and her garbage aren't police business. Give me a few minutes. <laughs> sure. Make yourselves a cup of coffee. Here's the key to the break room. Thanks. Come back upstairs when you're done, okay? Coffee sound good? The machine is in the break room downstairs. Uh-huh. those memories in some deep, deep part of my brain. Same here. <sighs> Something's in the way. down in here, and I'm going to ask you a few questions, okay? Okay. You okay? Yeah. I just usually try my best not to remember that night when I'm here. I would too. Rose never lets me back here. Huh. Rose left the computer on. Allison, how about that coffee we were talking about? Whew, that is going to smell lovely tomorrow. It's from Tessa's restaurant, right? Uh-huh. Everyone eats there all the time. It's as exciting as food gets in Delos Crossing. Denise Wilson's desk. Remember her? Uh, Crazy D? The woman who set fire to her ex's trailer? Allegedly set fire. She was acquitted. And that's Officer Wilson to you. She's obsessed with sled dog races now. Is that even a thing? thought she was a bit of an oddball, but in a good way. And she's passionate. Passionate? Yeah. Hey, that coffee is sounding real good. Where's the break room?
So you really hung out here a lot, huh? I mean, it's where Eddie works, so yeah. Is that so weird? It's just hard to picture a kid spending her weekends here. And where do you think kids spend their weekends around here? I don't know. Hanging out at a mall? The nearest mall is all the way back in Juneau. I went once a year to buy clothes with Eddie. Okay, let's go in. Allison, how about that coffee we were talking about? You okay? I'm just feeling a little nauseous. Ooh, that's gotta be a new record. You think they'll mind if I take one? These are definitely the same cookies that were here last week, but knock yourself out. How is this still warm? You sure you want coffee this late in the day? You'll be up all night. Uh, I don't think I'll sleep much anyways. Too much in my mind. Those dusty couches won't make it any easier. Hey, you okay? I can't do this. Calm down, Allison. Stick to the plan. Come on, don't freak out on me now. I can't. Please, I can't lie. We already lied. It's all gonna be fine, okay? You okay? Honestly? No. Do you ever regret? No. No way. Well, maybe once or twice early on, but now, no way. I mean, look where we're at. Look where I'm at. <laughs> Uncle Eddie's probably done by now. We should go find him. Do you mind if I go inside that room for a second? Uh, you sure? I'm not that hungry. Wow. It's the first time I've been in here since that night. Eddie was so uncomfortable, he dropped a vase. Looking at uh, this poster. I kept staring at it that night. I was picturing myself in the forest, hunting for goblin treasure. Just wanted to be anywhere but here. Yeah. Here. Um, have a seat. All right. Damn it. No. Sorry. Huh. They kept this? What? It's that vase. They glued it back together. I'm pretty sure Chief Brown is done with his phone call by now. This is heavier than I expected. <clears throat> Why did you separate us? Is Ollie okay? Ollie's just fine, honey. They're all in the other room having cocoa. Everything's gonna be okay. I need to ask you a few questions now. Come with me. Yeah, sorry. Trying to deal, but it's a lot. Yep, it's locked. 
So, isn't Brown waiting for us? We should head back to his office. Didn't Tessa buzz Dawn for smoking weed behind the store once? Yep, but- Hey, is this Crazy D's locker? Hey, she's Delos Crossing's best cop. Other than Eddie, of course. My bad. I wonder what Delos Crossing's best cop stashes in her locker. Maybe she keeps a spare key somewhere? She won't notice if we borrow this, right? As long as we put it back right where we found it, we're good. We really shouldn't be in here. Yes, but you never know where we might find information about that night. I guess so. So Wilson leaves her locker key in her desk and her password reminder in her locker? That's so irresponsible. An intruder could easily access all kinds of police files with this. Yeah, like two goblin intruders. Balto came through. I should take her out for a birthday drink. Oof, I should have gotten her something. You remember this fella? No way. Is that Jet? Yep. He, uh, he died last year putting himself between Dee and a bear. Oh, damn. Poor Dee. Remember this fella? No way. Is that Jet? Yep. He, uh, he died. I should take her out for a birthday drink. Maybe she won't notice that I added it afterward. I'm pretty sure Chief Brown is done with his phone call by now. Hey, sorry that took so long. Sometimes these old folks want us to come out just because they're lonely. No worries, Uncle. Hey, do you remember this guy? How can I forget? Tyler Ronan. Back in Delos Crossing. <laughs> it's uh, good to be back. And just look at you. A man grown. Yep, guess I ate my Wheaties. The whole clan's so proud of you. How you work with those kids at Fireweed. I always say children are the future. <laughs> I thought that was Whitney Houston. <laughs> Come on, bro. She stole her entire act from me. Everybody knows that. Look at you two. Reunited and it feels so good, huh? <laughs> yeah.
yeah. Not sure how I got by without this dork. Look, Eddie, we aren't here just to say hi. We found something in Marianne's room. Things aren't really adding up anymore, and we've got questions. Oh yeah? Did anyone mention anything about her behavior in the days leading up to that day? Anything at all? No. Everyone I talked to said it took them by surprise. Did you see her at all? Like, in those last few days? No. I hadn't seen her for... weeks. Maybe a month before. Did she mention anything about us that might have been worrying her? About Tyler in particular? No. She dealt with those kind of worries all on her own. Kept the rest of us at arm's length. I see. I will tell you one thing, though. Your mom. Never knew her to hate anyone for... being unconventional. Usually. It's the other way around. Thanks, Uncle Eddie. If you want my advice, nothing good comes from stirring up old memories. <laughs> we don't really have a choice about that. There's always a choice, son. I know sometimes it doesn't seem like it, but there is. <laughs> Can we take a look at her file? Maybe we'd see something you didn't. Her file? Her case file, her police file, whatever you call it. You keep those pretty much forever, right? We do, but I can't just pull it out right here, right now. There are procedures. But you're the chief. Which makes it even more important that I follow procedures. Look, Chief Brown, are you gonna help us? Or are you gonna be a cop about Tyler! This? No, it's fine. Tyler, I know you resent me, but fireweed was the best deal I could get you. I'm not mad about fireweed, but I may be a little salty you kept my sister away for seven fucking years. That's what this is about? Look, that was the court's recommendation. They're the experts. I just went along. Yeah, sure you did. Trust me, son. We all believed that what happened that night was self-defense, but we couldn't be sure. <laughs> I can't believe this. Look, we couldn't be sure, okay? I was trying to protect you both. So you still not sure? What? You still think keeping us apart was the right call? She was traumatized. We needed each other to heal, and you took that away from us. So why didn't you let your sister visit when you turned 18 Uncle, then, huh? Uncle, please. Let's move on. She's never gonna tell you how much that hurt her, but it did. That was about me. It wasn't about her. Allison gets that. And three years is nothing compared to seven. Right, Allie? Eddie was just doing his best to protect me. To protect his family. I thought I was your family. You are. Seven years apart didn't change that. Ten years apart didn't either. But Eddie's family, too. Look, we've all fucked up. We've all hurt each other. But isn't that what family's for? Can't we just move on? Sounds like the right call. <laughs> Times like this, I... I wonder who raised who. We're gonna stay the night at the old house. We better get going. You wanna grab a bite first? It's on me. Don't wanna send you out there with empty stomachs. I would not turn that down. Okay. Let's go.